बहुत सिंपल क्वेश्चन है इंटरनेट होता क्या है मतलब इंटरनेट कहाँ से आता है कहाँ बनता है क्या होती क्या है ये चीज़ हमें तो सिर्फ ये पता है कि एक वायर है वो कहीं से कनेक्ट होती है और फिर सबका कनेक्ट हो जाता है दुनिया कनेक्ट लाइक वॉट इज दी बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ इंटरनेट कहाँ से आया है होता क्या है एंड देन हम लोग उसके ऊपर जाएंगे कि थ्रेट क्या होता है सो सबसे पहली बात इंटरनेट हैज बीन अराउंड फॉर मोर देन हाफ अ सेंचुरी राइट इंटरनेट हमेशा हुआ क्या करता था कि आपके पास जब माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स हुए करते थे जो कि कुछ पर्टिकुलर काम कर सकते थे एंड दिस इज बिफोर पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स वो जो जिसे आप अर्ली स्टेज कंप्यूटर्स के बारे में आप बोल सकते हो उन्हें एक दूसरे से बात करने के लिए जो प्रोटोकॉल चाहिए था वहाँ पे इंटरनेट का जन्म हुआ इन अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल वर्ड एंड इनफैक्ट दिस वाज ओरिजिनली यूज्ड बाय इट यूज बी कॉल्ड आर्पनेट विच इज़ द प्लेस वेयर दिस होल थिंग वाज बॉर्न विच वाज इन द यूएस आर्मी क्योंकि देर वर सर्वर्स विच वर डूइंग सम वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ स्टफ विच वर इन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री and in order to connect them and put certain things together that is where there was a requirement kyunki dono jagah data was being stored in the form of bits and bytes use khali transfer karna tha from one side to the other and uske karan that is where the internet was born which is originally called arpanet right now fast forward that internet really became internet when the first browser which was netscape was launched kyunki uske pehle jo problem hoti thi wo ye thi in fact iske bhi agar main thoda sa pehle jaau internet was a luxury aur internet ban hi nahi sakta tha popular jab tak personal computers popular nahi bane kyunki it's almost like this right Uber तब तक नहीं पॉपुलर बन सकता था जब तक हर फोन पे जीपीएस नहीं आ जाए राइट सो दैट्स अ प्री रेक्विजिट विच वॉज आउट देयर सो इवन बिफोर द इंटरनेट अगर हम पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स की हिस्ट्री देखते हैं इट वॉज रियली इन द नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज इन द नाइनटीन एटीज रिमेंबर नाइनटीन लेट नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज इज वेर दी एपल वन केम इन टू द पिक्चर एपल टू वॉज अर्ली नाइनटीन एटीज नाइनटीन एटी फोर द बिग लॉन्च ऑफ द मैकिन टॉश विच हैपन विच फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एवर हैड द ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस क्योंकि मैकिन टॉश के पहले ऑल ऑफ पर्सनल कंप्यूटर्स पता है कैसे होते थे ब्लैक स्क्रीन जो हमें डॉस पता है या मैक पे जो टर्मिनल होता है दिस इज ऑल दैट कंप्यूटर्स यूज टू बी नाउ why was macintosh that turning moment for the whole world because it truly could become personal aap aise soch ke dekho aap ya aap apne mother ya father ko kya aap kabhi bhi soch sakte ho 10 20 commands sikhaoge dos pe jisse ki wo ek dusre se baat karenge cheeze dekhenge it was never the case the moment it was simplified into a graphical user interface which by the way was not made by apple it was actually taken from xerox and xerox research park had come up with this concept of a mouse and using a mouse you could basically click on a particular screen which was out there hmm. so that was the first time ever that somebody had come out with that and the xerox research park because xerox us time bahut badi company hua karti thi apple was a small company the xerox research research park took took this to the management of xerox the leadership of xerox to say this can be the future of personal computer and people laughed at that they said are you mad xerox is such a big company do you think it will ever launch a product where something is called a mouse ha you are idiots go away from here <laughs> right literally this was the case right and today look at xerox and look at apple right when steve jobs saw that the moment he saw it he knew this was it this was the next big leap that he could take from apple 2 to macintosh and why is that important kyunki uske karan graphical user interface became very very popular mm. because after macintosh windows copied it and then it went to the ibm pc and then you know basically graphical interface became very very popular after that is where the graphical user interface of the internet so going back to what you were talking about internet used to be super technical now people could actually see and feel the internet thanks to the browser 
क्योंकि नाउ दे डोंट हैव टू टाइप कॉम्प्लेक्स क्वेरीज टू कनेक्ट टू सिस्टम्स ऑल दे हैड टू डू वॉज गो to a particular protocol at that time say an http simple protocol to say is particular computer pe jao which later on became a website name shuru mein ip addresses hote the but the human brain can't remember enough numbers so there was the whole concept which then 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 came about on how do you convert those ip addresses to names because people can remember names yahoo.com apple.com google.com that we remember very very mm-hmm. easily so that is what basically came into the picture with something called a dns service which is domain name service where it's like a yellow pages directory yeah. which basically has ip addresses and websites that coupled with the website which you could see on a browser which was a netscape browser that is where internet truly became a you know democratic movement because now you can host pages and give information that you wanted at that time there was no e-commerce there was no logging in and there was no users there was no inbox that came later inbox tha ek dusre type ka inbox tha but not through the graphical user interface that you would talk about and because it became because of that it became popular it became easy and there was jaise aapne shuru kiya tha na aapne bola tha ki i want to dump it down and make it easy it's actually the most difficult thing to do for anything and i i would i would argue that anything which has truly changed the world only happened when it became super easy mm-hmm. look at the personal computer with graphical graphical user interface look at the internet with the browser look at more recently uh chat gpt so ai became ai because it became simple yeah for anybody to be able to use it thank you so much ye clip end tak dekhne ke liye agar aapko aur bhi aisi clips dekhni hai to rajshamani clips channel ko subscribe kar lijiye